Hey, yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Swamp Thing, issue number six. Take a look at this comment cover right here. Now, the basic concept of issue number six for Swamp Thing is that Alec Holland is basically cornered by the rot, and Abby, the woman who he has been traveling with, is being consumed by the rot. Her younger brother reveals that she is supposed to be the conqueror, the champion of the rock. What Alec should be for the green, which is Swamp Thing. And slowly, Alec has to watch her be consumed by the rock, taken over by the rock, against her will. And at the same time, he has to make a troubling decision. He needs to do what needs to be done to stop her from becoming this evil, conquering champion of death. But can Alec Holland make the decision to do what needs to be done to stop her? Can he pay the ultimate price to keep the rot from growing? Or is it a little too little, a little too late? And had all Alec Holland missed his window of opportunity to do what needs to be done? And more importantly, has he missed his opportunity to become Swamp Thing? Well, just gonna have to read and see. Let's jump into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Ah, uh, boy, is the dialogue really, really, really good in this. Um, there's just one part when the child that is possessed by the rod is talking about chess, talking about games, and missing pieces during chess. Um, and it's, it, it really is chilling when he does this. And the dialogue back and forth between Abby and, uh, and Alec is very dramatic and, and has a sense of despair. Which brings us to the atmosphere. There is a great atmosphere of despair. Things are not going well. This does not have an happy ending. It is a bad time for everyone in Swamp Thing. And the rot is winning and you get a feel of that. And sometimes the feeling of desperation really does uh, give you a good read. Um... The art, the visuals are very disturbing, but disturbing in a good way. Uh, for example, when Abby is getting consumed by the rot, she starts to, like, her body starts to... It, it just looks like some kind of cocoon is over her, but a really grotesque cocoon. Like, uh, it's, I guess it would be the equivalent of, I don't know, the feeling you would get to see, like, uh, someone getting infected by an alien virus or something. It, it just it has that very uncomfortable feel. That she is just a victim and she's getting violated in some way. Another visual that really creeped me out is when he's uh, the little boy is talking to his sister and a humongous tongue comes out and he licks her. It really is quite weird um, and really disturbing. And the ending has a it really is a good ending and a cliffhanger, like uh, a really, 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 really good cliffhanger. A uh, bad. Uh, None. Maybe maybe that this was such a good comic that I read it so fast, I went through it really quick. But it is a great issue, a fun issue. Five out of five stars. Swamp Thing is coming back. Um, this is great stuff. Great stuff. Pick it up. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.